so it's true. You really are a part of the Rainbow Hair family. You're going to pay for this, both of you! I finally got accepted into the family. Or so I thought. Why did she have to come back, Ryan? Everything was perfect. of the rainbow hair family. I didn't know that at all. I didn't expect it at all. I <laughs> don't blame you at all. My hair isn't rainbow after all. Well, I'm happy as long as you're happy. If you want to move back to your real home with the rainbow hair family, then you should. I just want you to be happy. I'm going to miss you a lot though. A lot. Thank you for everything, Mom. I'm really gonna miss you, too. We're definitely gonna stay in touch. I'm going to meet you at least once a week. At least. Thank you for everything you did for our daughter. We are really, really grateful to you. I was worried sick ever since Eve left because she had nowhere to go other than her house. I had no idea how she was doing, where she was, what she was doing, whether she was eating properly or not. It was just too much for me to bear. <sighs> We're glad that you gave her a home and treated her like your actual daughter. <laughs> and we will forever be grateful for that. Thank you, Susan. Thank you so much. From now on, you're a part of the Rainbow Hair family too. If you ever need help with anything, you can contact us whenever you want. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Rainbow. I really appreciate it. Let's go home, Mom. Dad. It's been a few months since I came back home now. After mom, dad, and Eric came to apologize to me, I couldn't help but come back to this house. I could see in their eyes that they were genuinely sorry for everything that happened. I finally got accepted into the family. Or so I thought. Finish your food quickly, Eve. I need to eat my food too. You're taking forever. Ugh. Ugh. Well, why don't you just sit on another seat then? There's so many empty seats on the table right now. Because I don't want to sit on those seats. The seat that Eve is sitting on is my seat. I always sit there. That seat doesn't have your name on it, does it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, that's what I thought. Now you either get lost or you wait for Eve to finish her food. Eric and Eve, you both are such losers. Come on, Ryan, don't let these idiots bother you. We can have our food in our rooms. You're going to pay for this, both of you. I'll make sure you both never eat food again for the rest of your lives. So, yeah, I still haven't been fully accepted into the family, which really sucks. Eric and my parents treat me really, really well, and they're trying their best to make up for the mistakes that they made. But Ryan and Karen, they haven't changed at all. Not one bit. They aren't happy I am back. I thought they would feel at least a little bit guilty for how they treated me, but they don't feel anything at all. I just wish they accepted me as their sister. Hey Eve, how you doing? I'm going to start playing Roblox soon and I was thinking we can play together. But if you don't want to play with me, then that's okay. Mom also made some really delicious food for all of us. Okay, sure. I'll play with you, Eric. You don't have to wait for me though. You can start playing Roblox right now. I'll be in your room in a few minutes. I wonder what mom made for us. When I came back home and saw my room, it was exactly the same as how I left it. It's exactly the same as I remember. Mom and dad said they didn't change a thing at all. I really love playing Roblox with Eric a lot. I used to play a lot with toys, but now that I've grown up, I've replaced toys with Roblox and playing soccer with mom and dad. But I like to play Roblox more. Playing soccer with mom, dad, and Eric is perfect because I get to spend time with them. Mom, dad, and Eric always invite me to play soccer, tag, or hide and seek with them. If I'm not able to play them, they don't play too. I told them they can play even if I'm not able to join, but they insist that they'll only play if I'm there. They make me really happy and they've all changed quite a lot. Except for Ryan and Karen, of course. I've also made a lot of good friends in school. Mom and dad said that I have to be careful though because some people might only try to be friends with me because I'm a part of the famous Rainbow family. I should watch out for people like that. <laughs> what was that sound? I think... I think it came from Karen's room. 
Karen, what happened? How did your window break? You did this! You threw a brick at my window! What on earth is wrong with you? Why are you doing this to me? What if I got hurt? What? What are you talking about? I didn't do anything like that! Karen, why are you shouting at Eve? Did something happen? What did she do? She broke my window! She threw a brick at my window for no reason! Look what she did to my window, Mom! She's lying! I didn't do anything like that! Why are you lying, Karen? I'm not lying! I'm telling the truth! Okay, we'll settle this issue later. For now, we need to clean the broken glass off the floor. But mom, you need to punish her! She broke my window! Karen, I said we'll settle this later. And I've already warned you that you're going to get kicked out of the house if you mistreat Eve, right? And you're still doing it! You are grounded for a week! What? A week? But mom! My decision is final. I don't want to hear anything more. Now, get out of this room so that I can clean the glass off the floor. <sighs> I'm sorry, Eve. Some people just take a really long time to change. I'm sure she'll come to her senses eventually. And Ryan, too. I sure hope so. Hey, Eve. I didn't see you yesterday. You didn't come to school yesterday, right? Hey, Crow. I know. I didn't come to school yesterday. I ended up oversleeping because I forgot to set my alarm clock. You know that it's impossible for me to wake up on time unless I have an alarm clock. There was no way my body would naturally wake me up at 6 a.m. in the morning without an alarm clock. That's just impossible. Thank you for trying to wake me up, though. <laughs> so, that's why you didn't message me back. I can't believe you overslept, Eve. I know how that feels, though, because it's happened a couple of times to me, too. But in my case, even if I set up an alarm clock, I still sometimes don't wake up. So I have to set at least five alarm clocks, and they all need to be as loud as possible. I know, it's a lot of work, but that's the only way I'm gonna wake up. Maybe you can try waking me up for a change. I might wake up early. <laughs> Just kidding. Why did she have to come back, Ryan? Everything was perfect when she left the house. It was just us, the rainbow hair family. I swear I am going to go crazy if I see her brown hair one more time. She came back because of Eric, so it's his fault. We made Eve leave the house before and we could do it again. We just need to come up with a plan. We need to make Eric hate her or something. Five alarm clocks? Crow, you're crazy! But you know what? That's actually a great idea. I'm pretty sure if I do that, then my brothers will never forgive me. And let's not even talk about my sister. They're always up late at night playing Roblox. I don't think mom and dad know. I really want to tell them, but I don't want Eric to get into trouble. And once they find out, Ryan and Karen are never gonna let me sleep then. <laughs> Crow is my best friend right now. He's the one I spend most of my time with. I still talk to Carol, Callum, and Mary, but you know, I'm starting to think that he might be more than just a friend. I think I'm starting to have feelings for him, but I'm not sure yet. I'm too scared to bring it up with him because I'm afraid he might not have the same feelings for me. If that's true and I end up confessing to him, then that would ruin our friendship. And I really don't want that to happen. I'm afraid of ruining our friendship because I really value it. I believe our friendship is really special and I don't want anything to destroy it. Maybe I'm just being a scaredy cat, but I don't know. I'm not willing to take the risk just yet. So hey, do you want to watch a movie tonight? Just the two of us? I don't have homework to do today and I'm gonna get too bored if I just stay at home doing nothing. So I I was thinking of going out to the movie theater. There's a new movie that just came out, and the trailer for it was really good. I'm interested in watching it. It'll be more fun if I watch it with you, so let me know if you want to come with me and we can hang out. Oh my gosh, is he asking me out? Yes, 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 this is perfect! <clears throat> well, I have some work to do tonight, but I think I can get it done early. So I would love to come to watch the movie with you. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. I'm glad. I can't wait to see you there. How did you like my acting at home, Eve? I'm pretty good at acting, right? I almost got you in trouble. I'm lost, Karen. I don't want to talk to you. So, is this your best friend, Crow? Huh, Eve? I can't believe you're hanging out with him, and I can't believe he's hanging out with you. I like the way they're talking to you, Eve. Hey, back off. You can't talk to my best friend like that. Don't worry about it, Crow. Let's just leave for now. We 
overheard their conversation, Ryan. They're going out for a movie tonight, aren't they? I have the perfect plan to ruin her date. She's going to remember this for the rest of her life. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you came early for once. I'm glad you didn't oversleep. <laughs> Very funny, Crow. Yes, I did. I was afraid I would be late, and I really hate being late. So, of course, I had to come early. I had to take a train to get here on time. The movie starts in 30 minutes, right? Maybe we can get something to eat before then. What popcorn flavor do you like? Choose wisely. You're putting me on the spot, Eve. Well, I really like cheese popcorn a lot. I know that it's an unpopular option, and I'm guessing that you probably hate cheese popcorn, but I don't care. It's my favorite flavor. You like cheese popcorn? That's disgusting! How do you even tolerate the smell of cheese popcorn? Can't even imagine! <laughs> I knew you'd react like that. It's fine though. We can get different flavors of popcorn. I'm obviously going to get cheese popcorn, but you can get something else. Which flavor do you usually get? Which flavor is your favorite? Caramel, of course! Caramel popcorn came straight from heaven! There's no other flavor of popcorn that tastes better than caramel. I could eat caramel popcorn all day and still get hungry, but you wouldn't know how good it is. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's a lot. I like caramel popcorn a lot too, but I can't eat it all day, Eve. <laughs> Jeez, it starts tasting a bit too sweet for me to tolerate. I'm fine if I only eat a little bit of it, but if it's too much, then it gets too sweet. Wait to wipe that smile off her face. Who does she think she is? Ugh. She has no right being happy when she ruins our fun at home. Don't worry, Karen. Once our plan works, then she's never going to smile ever again. We just have to make sure that Eric doesn't find out about this. Oh well, we'll just get different flavors, it's fine. I'm also gonna get a soda. We can share the soda if you want. I'll pay since I invited you, Eve. I think we're ready to go for the movie now. Okay, Ryan, go. It's time to initiate phase one of my plan, and you know what to do. Oh my god! Crow, I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to! It was an accident! This guy bumped into me! Watch it, girl! Watch where you're going! Oh, kids these days! You were the one who bumped into me! I was standing still! Oh, I'm so sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> it's fine, Eve. Don't worry about it. Didn't do it on purpose. I'm going to the bathroom to quickly clean up, and then I'll get my popcorn again. I'll be right back. <laughs> Why did that guy have to come out of nowhere and ruin everything? You're having such a good time. He looked like he bumped into me on purpose. What a jerk. Oh, well, it's all right. Just relax. You're here to have a good time with Crow. Just don't make any more stupid mistakes like that. Watch out for idiots like that who might bump into you. Found our seats. They're over here. <sighs> oh my gosh. What on earth is wrong with my seat? It's disgusting. Ew, that's horrible. I thought the movie theater staff always clean every seat before every movie starts, so what's the meaning of this? Mm. Now we won't be able to sit next to each other during the movie. Ugh, I hate this. We'll have to sit with one seat gap between us. I'll ask the staff to come clean the seat and see if they can do it before the movie starts. I'll be sitting on the other seat in the meantime. Is that fine, Eve? I just can't believe our luck right now. All right, sure. I hope they can clean it quickly. Come on, 
on? Why is everything suddenly going so wrong? We were having such a good time until that masked guy bumped into me. Now we can't even sit next to each other during the movie. What kind of date is this? Look at her now, Karen. Your plan is perfect. So, we're going to keep doing little things like that to ruin her date with Crow. Eventually, Crow is going to get tired of all the problems, and he's going to leave her and go home. That's going to break Eve's heart completely. It's the perfect plan. All right, phase one is pretty much complete now. Now we need to move on to phase two, Ryan. they were able to clean the seats. I would have been really bummed out if we couldn't sit next to each other during the movie, because then we wouldn't be able to talk. Wait, Crow, are we here to talk or watch the movie? But I'm really happy too. Oh, also, I can't seem to stop thinking about it, but why were Ryan and Karen being rude to you at school today? If they don't stop, then I'm gonna have some serious beef with them. Where do I even start, Crow? Karen may be my sister, and Ryan may be my brother, but there is something I've been hiding from you. I know I've never told you this before, but I'm actually a part of the Rainbow Hair family. Yes, I am not adopted. I know there are rumors saying that I am adopted. I've also always had this fear that maybe people are only trying to become my friend because I'm part of a rich and famous Rainbow Hair family. And not because they like my personality or actually like me for who I am. That's why I don't usually bring up the fact that I am part of the Rainbow Hair family when I talk to people for the first time or when I'm trying to make new friends. I hope you understand what I mean. Ryan and Karen have never treated me properly just because I don't have rainbow hair like them. They think I don't belong in the family because of that. be part of the rainbow hair family eve i'll make sure you get kicked out of the house no matter what she won't even think about coming back home after phase two karen i can't wait to see the look on her face <laughs> it's fine i understand my family isn't like the rainbow hair family of course but i know exactly what you mean it's one of the main disadvantages of being famous but it really sucks that karen and ryan can't accept you into the family Thank you for listening to me, Crow. Anyways, let's just focus on the movie now. It's about to start. Oh, I can't wait to see this with you, Eve. I've heard really good things about this movie, so I'm sure it's gonna be good. This job is the worst. Like, all I do is open the projector and project the movie on the screen. I just have to stand here doing nothing for hours and hours. Ah, I hate it. I guess I get to watch movies for free, so that's a plus, but I want more money. And I can't earn more money if all I do is stand here. Huh? What was that noise? Better go out and check. It's pretty loud. Yes, that was so much easier than I thought it would be. All right, now the main show begins. What happened? Why did the movie stop playing? Oh, we were just getting to the interesting part. Come on. Are you spying on him? That's so creepy and weird. I'm not spying. I'm just... I don't know. Why don't you just tell him how you truly feel? Why don't you tell him that you have the biggest crush on him? Shh! Lower your voice! What if he hears you? Just tell him you have feelings for him. It's not that hard. No, I can't. What if he doesn't like me back? Security cat! So you're just going to keep spying on him forever? He won't be really happy if he finds out you're spying on him. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. What is going on? Who's playing this video? No, no, no. Who's sitting right next to me? He's watching all of this. Someone please stop this video. Please. Um, Eve? I'm sorry, Crow. I, I need to leave for a second. I'll be right back. Wait, Eve, there's no need to leave. 
I'm really sorry, Crow. I don't know who's doing this, but I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> Yes! I just ruined her day with Crow! My plan worked perfectly! Oh my gosh, this was amazing! I knew that those clips me and Ryan recorded of her spying on Crow would come in handy one day. This was the perfect opportunity to use them. That's what she gets for smiling like that. And that's what she gets for messing with me and Ryan, Eve. 